Um, I worked at Camps with Meaning for 11 weeks this summer and spring. Uh, I went on the trip Riverton. It was a week in up in Riverton, Manitoba. We had a kids club. We did other things in the community like weed whacking and painting the curbs. This summer I was a summer program director at Camp Assiniboia, so that was my fifth summer serving at camp. Um, I choose to serve because I find great joy in it. I went mostly because I had friends who were going and I heard it was really fun. Um, I've taken part in these kind of trips before and I've had lots of fun. Uh, when I was a kid I found camp really important and to have the opportunity to, to help give other kids that opportunity what meant a lot to me. A good way to spend time with people, meet new people. Uh, at camp, I love working with kids. They're so much fun. There's, they always have random stories to tell and random facts and things that you never thought you would know. I'm personally, I'm more reserved, so sometimes it's a little frightening to get out of my comfort zone. Kids have a lot more energy than you than I do. Um, Some of the challenges this summer were living in a community for a long period of time and finding the time to take care of myself. I'm, I'm a shy person so having to bring myself out there is one thing but also the phys you get really tired physically and mentally sometimes so it's hard to keep going when you're tired. It helps people feel loved and we don't know always who f comes to camp feeling loved or feeling valued and if you can be that one that one person that can show them that it can it can mean a lot to them but it can also mean a lot to you and so just to let people know that someone cares about them it sort of shows them that you care that you care about um, that you care about them that you're you're willing to serve them and to help them out to give them like uh, I don't know for kids sometimes it's like a vacation going to camp well I mean Kids would go away for the day and do some fun activities and learn a little more about Jesus. Uh, they get closer to God, I guess. Uh, we all really do get closer to God and uh, learn about each other and make friends. I think it shows just how much God can love them too and I, th I think it can show them that in a very tangible way. I would say it's probably one of the reasons I chose to get baptized because I took part in these kind of experiences and I have a lot of fun doing them. Well, how has it not? I don't know. It, it just feels good to know that you're helping someone. I made a lot of great friends through uh, serving with the church and, and get closer to God. I got baptized uh, because of Soar and it helped me realize that I wanted to get baptized. I think serving has blessed me in the relationships that I've made with people that I've served with on my staff team and also particularly um, the Adults with Disabilities program at camp. You're surrounded in a community that supports you and helps you grow and, and it's a very open space to daily talk about faith and to hear about others' journeys can be really helpful in growing in your own faith. It was one of the reasons why I got baptized. Um, yeah, SOAR, when we went on SOAR, afterwards, we were all kind of like, yeah, God, who, whatever. Um, and so we went to the faith exploration classes, some of us, and a lot of us chose to get baptized. Um, well, working at camp, it's a Mennonite place. I get to hang out with other Christians all the time, all day, for weeks and weeks, and the p environment's really positive, and there's no, there's no criticism for my faith, and it's just a really positive p place to grow. Just to see God's work in other communities. It just really helps you understand that it, there's more to life than just doing things for yourself, and when you don't do things for yourself, that's really where you achieve happiness. It's a chasing of the wind. I would just say go for it because a lot of these experiences are just like a week 
So it's a short time. So if you really don't have fun, you, it's over fast. And I'd say 100% of the time, even though it's not quite what you wanted, you always get something out of it. I'd say go for it. Why not? How many chances of that are you going to get? Definitely uh, consider it at least. It's a lot of fun and I've stepped out of my comfort zone the first few times I went on SOAR and it has been awesome. Do it. If you're even a little bit on the fence, just do it. Even if it's only once, it can change your life forever. I would say embrace the moments that you never thought you would find yourself in. Those are often the ones that help you grow and though can be the most nerve-wracking, give you experiences that, that you can't really find anywhere else. So yeah, just find yourself in situations and make the best of it and those are the ones that will help you grow. Just do it. Whatever doubts you have, just do it anyway because it's always better than you think it's going to be.